Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a quick little video testing out the Archer and Olive Calligraph pens. These are the new brush pens from Archer and Olive. But first I wanna show y'all a few of the other things that I picked up from the fall and Halloween launch. So this was from the fall collection. I went with the green journal with the teapot and I got the one with 192 pages and this is going to be my bullet journal for 2022. I can't believe it's already time to have a new journal ready to go. Um, and then I also got a journal from the Halloween collection because, oh my gosh, look at this box. I didn't really need another journal, but I had to get this box. And honestly, all of those journals were really pretty too. And I love that they had the leather covers. So this is the wand one and it has the, the shiny sides, the silver sides. I can't think of the word right now, um, but I really like both of these journals. I'm excited. So let's get into the video. I'm gonna test out these new brush pens and kind of see how they compare to other brush pens that I've used and just see what the colors look like. And I'm gonna try them on white paper and in one of my craft paper journals just to see that as well. So these pens are double-sided. You have a big brush pen on one side and a smaller one on the other. The big side is about the size of the Tombow dual brush pen, a little bit smaller. And then the small side is very similar to the Tombow Food and Nisuki brush pens. So now I'm just gonna go through each color and swatch them for you. So even though the size is kind of similar to the Tombow dual brush pen, they're definitely not as soft and flexible, which I kind of like. That's a positive. I like there's a little bit more control when you can get those thicker strokes, but the small side, I would say is very close to the Fudunosuke, um, which is just one of my favorite pens to use. So I love them. I like that now all of their markers have the colors listed on them. I went with the Jewel Pack for mine because that's my favorite color selection from the Acrylograph pens. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and finish testing out all the rest of the colors on the white paper, and then I will switch to my craft paper journal.
So I pretty much knew I was gonna like these colors because like I said, the jewel pack is my favorite of the Acrylograph pens, but I am just obsessed with these markers. These are really great brush pens. And so now I'm gonna test them out on the craft paper. Now, of course, they're not as opaque as the Acrylograph pens because these are more of a water-based brush pen, but I still really like the way that they look on here. And I like that you kind of have like a different variety of colors. So I'm just gonna try out a little quote down here just to really test them out and see how it goes. I'll use the bigger side for my lettering and then I'll go in with some little details with the smaller brush pen. As I finish adding a few more details down here with a few different colors, I just want to say thank y'all for watching another one of my videos. If you're not already, I would appreciate if you would subscribe. And don't forget, you can use my code RAY10 to save 10% off your Archer and Olive order if you were interested in trying out the Calligraph pens.